Hello, I'm Mike Wharton with the Sustainability Office of the Unified Government of athens Clark County, and you're watching Snapshot 6. In this video, we're going to look at the efforts of the Unified Government over the last month, including this project on Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway. It's a restoration project. We're bringing back native habitats in an area that was completely involved with invasive plants. As part of a greenway segment, we're bringing the greenway through here and restoring the land around it. ACC Gov's Sustainability Office recently received a $35,000 grant from the Riverview Foundation to restore 13 acres of ACC Gov lands along the MLK Greenway expansion. In February and March, a contract mulching machine was used to clear the dense Asian bamboo and Chinese privet from the site. This work was followed by a week of trash removal and invasive clearing from the Southeast Conservation Corps. Next, a landscape architect who specializes in native plant restoration was brought in to advise staff on what opportunities exist for landscape scale restoration at this site. To date, nearly eight acres of the site have received the first treatment to remove invasive species. During April, the Water Conservation Office participated in the 2019 Wyland National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. The Water Conservation Office worked with PIO staff and Mayor Kelly Gertz to create a promotional video and print materials to encourage citizens to pledge to conserve water. When the contest came to its conclusion, athens Clark County was the winner of the challenge for the population category 100,000 to 300,000 residents. Locally, nearly 18,000 pledged to reduce water used by over 70 million gallons annually. In March, police officers picked up 11 children from their homes and took them to a local barber or salon for a haircut. Cops and barbers provided officers, children, and parents an opportunity to communicate and strengthen the police department's relationship with the community. At the barber shops, officers listened to employees and customers' concerns about police community interactions in a more comfortable setting. Morton Theatre patrons recently enjoyed the premiere of the Athens Musical Theatre Orchestra with an enthusiastic and near sellout audience. The Athens Musical Theatre Orchestra is a collaboration of instrumentalists and singers from the Athens community. The premiere showcased an adaptation of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, based on the Victor Hugo novel and songs from the Disney animated feature, the one night only event showcased the film's Academy Award nominated score. The story touched on the marginalization of people groups, treatment of women, and putting one's personal beliefs before the well-being of others. The Grow It, Know It program continues its efforts to reduce hunger and enhance educational success by middle school students and communities in athens Clark County. Grow It, Know It works through cooperative extension, through school garden and project-based education programs that engage students in the fields of environmental sustainability, community civics and social responsibility, STEM careers, and health and nutrition. The combined efforts of four AmeriCorps volunteers with the Grow It Know It program in the programs at Bernie Harris Lyons, Clark, Hillsman, and W.R. Coyle Middle Schools have resulted in 115 volunteers recruited to the schools. 89 volunteers managed at the schools, 256 hours of volunteer service at the schools, over 3,000 hours of quality student contact between AmeriCorps volunteers and students, and over 3,000 pounds of whole fruit reclaimed and redistributed at the school cafeterias. SPLOS funds helped provide $500,000 in local matching funds for a grant to ACC Transit of over $2.7 million. These funds provide transit system improvements, primarily for bus stop additions and features. Some of these funds were previously used to provide solar lighting for most bus stop locations in the community. Recently, work has started to add or improve a large number of bus stops in the community. Over 30 additional stops are currently being designed, while 13 sites have already been completed with semi-seats. 
nine new shelters have been installed, and over 30 concrete pads have been placed for new art shelter bus stop installations later this year. The art shelters were approved by the Mayor Commission in October 2018.